hi I thought we would do something fun today and I'm not sure how this video is gonna go but we're gonna give it a shot anyway so I'm gonna make muffins and so I have everything that I need to make my muffins in front of me and I'm gonna show you how to do it because there's a lot of math involved in following a recipe so we're gonna go back and forth with this video so bear with me okay we're gonna make chocolate chip muffins so I'm gonna turn the camera around so you'll be able to see the box and all of the ingredients that I have in front of me okay so I'm gonna switch you okay so in front of me I've got the mixer my bowl Here's my recipe, my box, and on the back of this is the recipe, and I'll show you that in a minute, but then we've got the muffin tin, and what are these? Eggs. And what shape is an egg? An egg is an oval shape. I've got milk, and I've got vegetable oil. So I, I did most of the muffin pan already, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you. You just put a muffin tin in each one of the muffin slots, so it's all set and ready to go. And then the first thing you do when you're making a recipe is you have to look at what the recipe is asking for. It says right at the top, that we need a half a cup of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs are the three things that we need to make a muffin. So I always use milk when it comes to making cakes and muffins and stuff. It truly does make a, make a difference, I think. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open my box, pull out my cake mix. I get scissors so I can open it without it going everywhere. That would be no good, that's happened before. So pour it in, all right? And so it, remember the recipe, if we ever have any doubt, you can always refer back to the box, it'll show you what you need for your recipe. So the first thing it says was it needed a half a cup of, of water. So I always use milk instead of water. So I need to get my handy green cup, which is right here. I'm gonna come down and show you. Right here on the measuring cup, it says one half. And that's how much milk we're gonna need. So let's open the milk. And it has to be precise. So we're gonna pour it in. And when it gets to the line by the half, we're gonna stop. So we got that, put the lid on the milk. And here it is. We did a, we did a really good job of getting the right amount. So I'm gonna pour it in. Okay, there we go. Next it calls for three eggs. So I'm gonna set you down over here and I'm gonna get three eggs. So count with me. One, and break it open and put it in the mix. Careful not to take and, and put any of the eggshells in it. So that was one. This is two. Two. How many more do I need? I had three. I've done two already. So I'm gonna put my fingers down. One two. So how many more eggs do I need? Just one. So I'm going to grab one. I'm going to put it in the, in the bowl. Here, I'm going to switch it around so you can see what it looks like. See it in there? It's all ready. So the last thing I'm going to do is it calls for a half a cup of vegetable oil. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the milk. I'm going to grab my, my measuring cup. I'm going to grab you. Switch your, and it said for the exact same amount, it said to put a half a cup. So I'm going to pour in a half a cup. 
So that's good to go. Pour it in. Very good. Put that in the sink so I don't knock it off the, the shelf, off the counter, I mean, because that's a, that's a mess. So here's what it looks like. <clears throat> it's all ready. So the next thing I gotta do is I gotta put it in the mixer. So I'm gonna put it in. And at this point, I'm gonna pause it because the mixture makes a terrible racket and you don't need to hear that. So I'm gonna pause you, I'm gonna run the mixer and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done before I put it into the muffin tins, okay? So I'm gonna pause it. <clears throat> 